Hello and welcome back to another GTA 5 modding tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to create custom melee weapons and add blood textures to them. I'll guide you through the entire process to ensure it's not overwhelming. Just like last time, feel free to skip to any part of the video using the timestamps in the description below. If you haven't seen my previous video, I suggest watching it first as I go over the basics of modding for GTA 5. With that out of the way, let's begin. Part 1. Animation. The first thing we're going to do is import the model you want to replace. In my case, I'll be replacing the knife. As you can see, I've already imported the GTA 5 knife model. Next, delete the default material and open the texture browser. Replace all the textures with your own, but make sure your textures use the same file names. Now, click on Gun Main Bone and select Dismiss. Next, delete the GTA 5 knife model. After that, click on Gun Main Bone again and select Isolate. At the top of the screen, go to Display, then click on the hand icon. Finally, click on the cube, followed by your model. This step will copy the node axes to your model. Click on the hand icon one last time, then select Isolate again. Next, click on the gun main bone, choose Convert to Compound, then click the lock icon and select L0. Drag and drop your model into this grey box. Finally, click on the lock icon once more and you're done. Part 2. Texturing. Now, I'm going to show you how to add blood textures to melee weapons. Keep in mind that only bladed weapons can use blood textures. Blunt weapons like the baseball bat and crowbar do not. I'm going to share a useful tip to make this process easier. Start by opening your model in 3ds Max and adding a UVW Unwrap modifier. Next, click Open UV Editor. From there, go to Tools and select Render UV Template. Set the width and height to match the resolution of your texture. In my case, I'll set it to 2048 by 2048 because I'm using 2K textures. Click on the three dots to choose a location to save your UV unwrap. Give it a name and select PNG as the format. Make sure the alpha channel is enabled or the image won't be transparent. Once that's set, click OK, then click Render UV Template. Now, go back to Photoshop and drag your UV template onto your texture. The UV template helps you see exactly where the blood will appear on the model. I'm using these blood textures from a Left for Dead 2 mod, but you can use any image you like. Simply drag your blood textures into Photoshop, and you can start aligning them with your UV. The blood textures have two states, one with a small amount of blood and another with a larger amount. I'll start by creating the texture with a small amount of blood first. Once you're finished, hide all the layers except your UV, then create a new layer and add a black fill layer. Now, select the magic wand tool and click outside your UV. Make sure the UV texture is selected in the layers panel. Next, hide the black fill layer and unhide the rest of the layers. Click on your blood texture and press delete on your keyboard. To prevent this error, rasterize your images before proceeding with this step.
To remove any white parts like this, change the blending mode to dark and color. Once you're finished, export your texture, ensuring it has the same file name as the vanilla knife. Now add your textures to OpenIV. As you can see, my model now has the correct textures. I'll show you what it looks like with blood on the knife. This is what it looks like after you stab someone once with the knife. Repeat the same steps for the second blood texture. And this is what it looks like after you stab someone twice with the knife. I'll show you how it looks in game now. Hey, keep your distance, pal. As you can see, blood appears on the knife when I attack someone. If the textures don't look right, you can always adjust them and re-export them. It takes patience to get it just right. Just remember to replace each blood texture with the right one. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something valuable. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. As always, thank you for watching.